Hey, what's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. So today I'm working on the Red Cat Clawback 1 5th scale crawler. I've already done a little bit of maintenance on it anyhow. I got new bearings that are here uh, because of the fact that I did run this thing in salt water and water was sitting in the axle itself. So yeah, so it started rusting up the bearings. So I cleaned up the, the outside bearings were fine on the, on the rear, but as far as those in, internal bearings, those things rusted because there's water that was still sitting in there. And I'm sure there might be some water in the front one here. So not good, but uh, also when I was running this vehicle, the receiver, when I took it into a little bit of the salt water that was there, yeah, this salt water is very bad for the electronics. So not good. I don't know what I was thinking. I wasn't. So anyway, um, just I was had just having fun. So that was the reason why I did it. Anyway, this receiver here stopped working. What all I did was clean it all up. Let it dry out and it just need to be i just had to bind it again with the radio so all is good on that one so 80 the quick run so it's an 80 amp over the stock one that was 40 amps do a little bit of maintenance on this so what i'm going to go ahead and do i will time lapse this but i will just kind of get run you guys through as far as what i'm going to be taking off so i'm going to take these off here as far as a couple screws that are here take the servo off because i got to get to there you go you can see it now anyway so that way i can get the screw that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this transmission apart. So we can see, yeah, I mean, rusted, no grease in there at all, no, nothing. And you can see corrosion already onto the screws, so bad deal. But the bearings, and you can see there's the E-clip that's in here too. So we got this little E-clip. So that thing is soft. Far, as far as it's got metal gears that are in here, the only one that's not metal would be like, let's, we're gonna call it the spur, or yeah, the spur gear that's here. But this thing spins nice and freely. So all is good, both the bearings on the front and the back of it, even just the actual pin that holds it on. All looks good, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'll grease that stuff up anyhow and tear this all apart. So let me go ahead and get that going. Okay, so what I did, I just used a little bit of this uh, silicone lubricant I just sprayed in here and then all I went ahead and did is just go in here with the, a brush to clean everything up and lubricate it. So it's, it's got grease on there from marine grease and what have you, so I just used it. That's good to coat everything, all the screws now. Also, as far as the axle that's here, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up, remove this bearing that's on here. Keep an eye as far as our little spacers that are there, our washers or shims, whatever you wanna call them. And I'll clean up, like I said, clean this all up and then I'll continue on. Second. Put our axle back in. We'll go ahead and slide that in there. Good deal on that part of it. Hold that. Cool. Then I'll go ahead and put that little E-clip back in. So we're good on that part of it. All right, and then I'll start tearing apart these other part of the gears and all that good fun stuff. So. All right, I did use a little bit more marine grease inside here just to kind of coat the screws and what have you. Just in case water does get in there, then maybe that'll help repel it a little bit anyhow. So I'm gonna go ahead, start working on pulling these things off right as we're talking right now. So let's go ahead. I know this one, kind of, there we go. So get that out, yeah, man. So all rusted in there as far as on that bearing. And this one looks okay unless water got in and messed up the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead work on that one and then we have this little guy here and you can still see it all that corrosion on those screws so better late than never well it would have been bad if I would have tried to run this truck it would have just probably broke something like I said or overheated the motor it just things wouldn't return just not work at all all right so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up but I'm also going to go ahead and time lapse this a little bit sorry I did the one side but I need to remove the other steering knuckle that's here, what have you. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this E-clip out of here. 
get that drive shaft off. And because it's rusted, it's gonna do, I'm gonna have to tap on this thing a little bit here. There we go. Yep, there's our, at least this bearing here, yeah, it still spins and everything like that. Might keep it, might not. But anyway, yeah, you can see all that rust on there too, nasty. So I'm gonna go ahead, get this bearing out of here, clean this all back up here. I'll again, just kind of shoot this thing, clean that up. All right, now that I have this axle cleaned up, I'm gonna go ahead and slide this back over in there. This stuff is falling. This thing's huge, man, so it's a little bit big for the table. But I'm gonna go ahead and get that E-clip back on there. Put more grease on this thing, you know, don't get too shy with the grease anyhow. It's up, super greasy, so yeah, dirt's gonna stick to it, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up afterwards, but I'm just more concerned about the inside of it right now. All right guys, wanna let you see that this thing does work and there's no extra screws that are left over. So congratulations to me. Now, it's not that bad. So yep, we're good on that part of it. All steers. So good, good. Uh, bearings, so the bearings were, well, those are the ones that were seized up because I was running in salt water. And of course they were all the, that water was sitting in the drive shaft housing that's there. So that happens or axle shaft housing, whatever you wanna call it. Anyway, I know what it is. I know what I need to do. So hopefully you guys could figure that one out as well as far as replacing it. It doesn't take too long. Of course, when I'm recording and everything like that, it does take a little bit longer. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell. And also check us out at omgrc.com. It's where you can find all these fine RC products and a lot more. Until next time, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys take care. Later. Later.